Today's video is dedicated to the custom decals, one of the latest features from the recent update from Lumia 12.3. My name is Katarina and I'm going to design and I'll see you next. Welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. In today's video, it's all dedicated to custom decals. So if you remember in Lumion 12, when Lumion 12 came up, um, went live, you had what you called decals, okay? So you had this button is in effects in your menu um, and you could see that you have these decals. So mainly it's images you can add to walls, for example, to buildings, to any kind of thing, really, um, any kind of uh, structure uh, that basically, you know, you can add, for example, dirt to give it a more realistic um, image to your uh, a more realistic image to your background. OK, um, if you have water damage, if you had mold, uh, things like this. So, you know, the, as a landscape architect or um, as a garden designer, you're probably not using this so much. OK, um, I don't I didn't use it at all, to be honest, uh, because normally, it, of course, it gives it a more realistic feel to your to your images. But I just don't worry too much about that. Normally, I normally more worried about, you know, getting the right plants and things like that. But of course, you know, it's it's a much more realistic image to a wall, for example. Um, and things like that. What you've got now in Lumion 12.3 update is custom decals. And I think this is a much more interesting feature for anyone working with a garden, for example. Um, so this is a, a, another decal that they had already, this little parrot. So this is cool little things you could add to your uh, pillows, for example. But what you've got now, if you go to decals again, is this one. So you have this one with the Lumion logo. And if you go here, it says custom decal. OK, so if you press it, OK, you have the Lumion logo that you can apply to any uh, structure, feature, anything at all, except glass. OK, nothing with glass, but everything else you could apply. OK, so what this gives you is I'm going to apply this to this planter here and I'm going to select now. OK. Normally it's like this, but if you go to show more, you have this here, these options. And when you go into load your color map, you can actually choose your own, for example, logo, your own pattern, anything you want at all, you can choose. So I have this pattern here, hexagonal pattern with the golden um, kind of things, you know, kind of rings around it. And as you can see, I'm going to put this decal a little bit down okay so basically i add a pattern to this planter of course you could say okay i could do this planter and add the material um you know or something like that but what is cool this planter is actually from the lumion library so i add it directly to the lumion library model plus what happens to the to the decal is it takes the features of the actual material is on OK, so that means the glossiness, the reflectivity of the original planter is going to bring it to that material. And that's what you have here. You have band colors. OK, so this is basically to do it more transparent as well, bending the colors together, band normals. So this is 100 percent. The normals is the relief, is the texture of the material. OK, glossiness and reflectivity. So that's why it seems like it's shining that pattern as well. OK, so because that's how it is the planter. So if I add that decal here, for example, let me go just to copy that decal. So I'm just going to do um, with the move key on, I'm just going to press Alt in my keyboard and I'm going to add here to my wall. So as you can see, now you have that texture of the wall in your pattern as well. So you can start seeing how you can create and be really creative with this with this kind of um, possibility. OK, you can copy around. Of course, you can have a little bit of patience, but you can create really cool things outdoors and with the actual texture of the material you have it on. OK, so as you can see, I added here. So this was just for a little bit of fun. So basically, I went to my browser and uh, I just put a PNG uh, pattern. Sorry, let me just grab the browser window here. 
PNG pattern just to 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 for you guys to see and basically what you need and what you mean by PNG is without the background okay um, if you want to play around with Photoshop and save it as a PNG as well without the background you can add all that textures after in your model so it makes it really fun and really cool new things to think about um, of course you could add them as well to your pillows uh, you could play around with the range as well let me go and show you the range is basically um the the amount of things you go as you can see here it it has a big range now because it's covering a lot of uh, a lot of um a lot of different things so you has this covering the pillows is covering the wall outs uh, in the in the background etc so if you want to go and put the range smaller Okay, is only gonna do in one part of one specific area. Okay, so in of course the decals they um, they shape around that that uh, that surface. Okay, as you can see here in the pillow, but you need to be careful to play around with it because it can go to other um, other materials very fairly easy okay so it's blending to the other uh, pillow um, there in the background so not the best thing to do like this in a pillow maybe if it's a smaller thing but something you can do that i think is it's it's an interesting idea is for example add your own uh, logo as well so imagine that you have here a pillow and you want to discreetly add the logo um let's go and do that Okay, so I'm just going to go and bring my PNG logo. That's with the background white. I don't want that. I want with the PNG without the the, um, the white background. So I'm just going to wait. Okay, and you can play around here with the size. So I'm pressing shift just to make it smaller, but in a slower motion okay so as you can see here i can move around in the pillow and it's taking the shape of the pillow so i think that's pretty cool and plus it is taking all the 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 material all the textures of the pillow as well okay so of course and the reflectivity the glossiness everything is taken from the actual pillow uh, you can bend colors if you want to make it a little bit more discreet or even you know come here and add a bit of transparency to it okay you can flip horizontally flip vertically but you know this is a, a good thing to explore i'm not sure yet how I'm gonna use this? Um, I think it's a, it's a cool thing, and I think there is a lot of possibilities um, that for you know creating this kind of patterns in surfaces outdoors. Um, and I think you know it it, it is interesting. Uh, I will probably think about adding patterns to carpets, for example, because sometimes you have some uh, nice uh, carpets from the Lumion Library, uh, furry ones, for example. If using something like that, uh, that you can actually create a pattern on top of that. I'm you know interested to see if that really actually works. Let me just see here if I could add a decal to this. Um, Mm -mm. yeah you could as you can see here straight away it takes the the that texture of that uh, of the pattern of this poof here so you know it's something to explore look i did in this lounge here this lounge chair you could go a bit crazy okay like <laughs> like it is now here full of patterns everywhere it can be a bit too much um but as you can see it has potential and it has potential to to you know it has possibilities to really explore colors and patterns to your in your in your um, in your projects let me know if you, what you think um what you think of this feature i'm pretty pretty uh, happy with it um but yeah see you guys see you in the next video bye bye